kind of forgot why you were mad again. Check out the room. This place is huge! The windows are gigantic and you're very far away from them. There's some structures off to the sides of the catwalk, and you can barely make out the top or bottom of the room. Just what the hell do they do to your water, anyway? Lean dangerously close to railing. You lean close to the railing. Not dangerously close, but close enough to warrant some caution. Below you can see what looks like a bunch of weird water shit. You'd be puzzled if you weren't up here about it all. It looks like a bunch of vats filled with water, with a few of them being contaminated with that same black sludge from your shower. Ah, you also put your hand in some that was in the rail. Oops. What is that black goop around? Oh man, this shit. This stuff is awful. It's so goopy and it smells stronger and more horrible than anything you've ever smelled before. It's as if someone made a permanent marker that smelled like gasoline and wrote with paint thinner. You've been covered in head to toe with this stuff countless times. You know that it isn't dangerous, at first. But when left on for long enough, it slowly begins to corrode nearly any non-metallic object it touches. Once you get this mess sorted out, you're planning on going out and getting a new shower. Made of steel. You can usually wipe it off without a problem. If you're ever covered again, you found that just a little bit of water is enough to wash it all off you. This sludge doesn't mix well with it. Wash hand, quickly. Then continue to proceed to the accompaniment of amazing music. That sounds like a great idea. You'll get right on it. How do you purpose wicked music? All that goof has, has surely kept us above the required coolness for access to the Emperor 3 player. You're currently nowhere near being able to use your MP3 player. You really do wish you had some music to listen to, as the only thing you're hearing right now is the sound of the machinery in this place. Aside from that, there has been no music whatsoever, and anyone who says or thinks otherwise is a silly face. Flail. That isn't such a bad idea either. You can easily detach the ball from your mace. If only you had some rope or something to tie it on. Run to the right until something interesting pops by. <gasps> oh god, what? You have a hunch that this guy is Jose. Hey! Yeah? Aren't you supposed to be using that hose for cleaning graffiti and collecting blue coins? Your name is Jose, right? Yeah, what about it? I'm psychic. Your family is in great danger. You should go help them. Immediately. My family's dead. Hey, Jose. What, damn it? What do you want with me? I want you out of here. Or dead. Whatever's of least inconvenience. Also, holy shit, don't ever do that again. Jose. What is it, goddammit? You seem like the kind of guy who'd be great for comic relief. No, I am not. Oh, come on, just look at your name. I'm sure you've got some jokes up your sleeve. What about my name? Why do you have a hose? Wouldn't a baguette be a more effective weapon? A baguette? What? Or maybe you're just using that hose to keep me away because you'll surrender if I get close. Okay, that's it. Enough. I've had it. There are some things that you should know, bitch. First off, I am not French. The joke was not nice. You should feel bad. Second, I have to deal with you. I'm not joking. I hate jokes. We're taking this water, and you will not stop us.
Well, this is a problem. You can't get close enough to this guy to hit him. Fortunately, you've discovered your level 1 maestech, Hotfly, and can hit him with that. It's working for now, but it probably won't be effective for much longer. Also, he's not French. You feel stupid for trying to poke fun at him, and humiliated because you haven't leveled up your face enough to pull off a convincing anime-style get-up. Attack him, and take a shower. You can't even get close to him, but the realization that he's spraying you with clean water makes you giddy. You haven't had a proper shower since last week. You spoke fly on the lever of his toilet pack. You've got to wait for him to stop spraying you first. Hold on. It appears that Jose's water pressure has dropped significantly. Now's your chance. You've got a clean shot at the lever of his backpack. There's no more water coming out of his hose. That was easy. You think? Helpful. Point at him, then move the maze pull across your neck. Throat. Don't forget the angry eyes. You pick up the ball of your maze and give your best attempt to look threatening. Smash him good. Realize you're probably soaked in toilet water. Toilet water? What? You've completely forgotten about your immense hatred of toilets! Well, it's not the toilets themselves that you don't like. It's just that they get absolutely filthy in an incredibly short amount of time. And you find that dirty toilet to be one of the most repulsive things on the planet. You clean your toilet at home so hard that you've actually won awards for it. If you absolutely must come across a dirty toilet, you have to either clean it or Utterly annihilated! And just to think, any of the water you've seen could have very well at some point been water from a dirty toilet! Oh god, oh god, oh god, you don't think you've ever flipped out as much as you are right now! Holy shit, that was unhealthy! You need a second to gather your bearings! Stop flipping out while you are in red! That sounds like a great idea, provided you're able to stop your mood ring in the right spot. And of course, you weren't able to do it. Not only that, the mood indicator is completely gone. What the hell? <sighs> At least you still got your mace. As ridiculous as what just happened, Jose obviously has no idea what's going on, and he's weaponless. You've got to do something quickly before he runs away like Slick did. Clean Jose's toilet harder than you've ever cleaned a toilet before. Win awards for it. Oh man, you would, you totally would. But you didn't think to bring any cleaning implements with you. Focus quickly on that Jose guy. It's his fault that you may or may not have been soaked in dirty toilet water. And the sooner you smash him up, the faster we can get to an actual shower. Good point. The only option is to reduce his toilet to a tiny pile of ceramic dust. You're feeling it now. Flip the fuck out of the person responsible for this toilet water bullshit. <sighs> it's his fault. Get him. Time for some fun. You don't need no goddamn shotgun. You are slick. Spin on your head like Hitman Top. You can't do that at the moment. Your suit is being repaired. The worker starts doing it, though. Worker? Kick through the one two, two window thingy. Oh man, you love this guy. He tried it about a hundred times already, but you still find it hilarious. No amount of spinning will damage your repair module. Be sure to add plus three against bludgeoning into your suit. You don't want to do this anytime soon again. You open up your painfully green suit profile display and change the properties of your suit. You know what? Let's just start over. You wipe your entire profile and put 3 points into damage resistance. Whenever you reset your profile, you always start out with 2 points in damage resistance and mobility, followed by 1 in spatial distortion. Your weapon is locked in at Harpoon, and you're only able to change it 
if you bring the desired weapon into the repair module with you. Spatial distortion is your suit's ability. Normally you wouldn't need it, but at least one point in it is imperative for you to complete your mission. 2 to spatial distortion, 4 to mobility, 1 more to damage resistance. It's not too different from your last build, you just put 5 points in everything to make it all equal, but sure. Looking good. Everything is relatively tame in regards to each other, but you've got a slightly larger edge in mobility and damage resistance, which should make you a bit of a better fighter even without your weapon. You are not sure how this will impact your ability though. Check ability menu too, just to be sure. You've got two puddle decks and a space deck online. It's all you've ever used really. You find puddle transportation to be incredibly useful. Move a single point from DR to SD. Space Tech Vacuum Puddle is now online. To recap, you've got 5 points in damage resistance, 6 points in mobility, 4 points in spatial distortion. Your damage resistance is at 5 again. Oh well, at least with an extra boost to mobility, the girl will have trouble catching you to hit you at all. Go for it. See if the worker's still spinning around. Success. But it kinda of felt like you've been both overwhelmed and underwhelmed at the same time. You also feel a little tingly. Look at Worker. He's trying to spin you out. It's humorous. But you have to admit that you're starting to get a little dizzy. Punch Worker for the hell of it. You will have none of this. There. Now you can get some work done for once. Your new suit has a hideous, fin-shaped thing on top. Go back and try again. This fin on top of your helmet, well, it does look out of place, but it is the price you must pay for me to find your suit. Apparently, it's the addition that increases your mobility by one. It also sort of looks like a mohawk. You could go back and reset everything to what it once was, but the repair module needs some time to recharge before it can work again. It's a miracle you even got it to work down here in the first place, what with the shoddy wiring of this room and all. Check on your other teammates. You go up to the security console and flip through the cameras. Flush is doing what he's supposed to be doing at least. He's over by the reservoir, making sure that the water is empty not properly. You're having difficulty finding tubs. He's a little paranoid. Even though you all locked the place down without a hitch, Tab still blots out the security cameras. Judging by what cameras are blacked out and what ones aren't, he's probably near the offices, seeing if he can find anything worth stealing. Go check on how Jose is doing. You hope Jose was able to take care of the girl. Oh, shit! Slick, intervene.
Oh man, I really hope you were able to save them both. Combining one's abilities to form a new one is a pretty useful technique. But you've never used a dimensional hopper with another person before. You have no idea what will happen.